Yo, what's up? It's her. What's the word? You feel me? If you're new to my channel, I do vlogs, and this is my third episode on a podcast. You feel me? When I wake up, I do not, you know, prepare myself. Look, when I'm talking, it's blowing the blowing the fire out. So yeah, if you new, I do podcasts and vlogs. Majority of what I do is like, you know, motivation. So this topic is going to be, you know, don't let other people tell you what to do. You know, in your life, it's what you want to do. You feel me? And like a lot of people on YouTube, not a lot of people on YouTube, but a lot of people you know in life. I always try to tell me, you know, how should I, how should I have my YouTube, and ain't nothing wrong with that. But I just know if I do something I don't like, I'm gonna burn out quick. I'm gonna burn, I'm gonna burn out faster than expected. Than me just, you know, doing my own thing, and that's what I don't want to do. I don't want to be burning out and say, you know, I don't want to do this YouTube. I have thought that before. Don't get me wrong. I have thought that before where, you know, I just don't know if this YouTube thing is for me. And that's just because, you know, I I wasn't bringing in viewers. And now, you know, that was, that was about, you know, a minute ago. And now I really don't. You know, I really don't care about those things. Like a lot of times I'll be asking for people opinion like, what you think about my videos? What you think about me moving out of town? What you think about me joining this school? What you think about me getting this iPhone? Like a lot of times it feel like I just want their opinion to make sure, you know, I'm doing the right thing. Like I gotta see how many no's I'm getting. You know, I gotta see how many Yes, it's I'm getting to see if it's really bad. That's just me. Some people don't care. You know, a lot of times you just got to go with your gut feeling. Like, I might ask for your opinion, but at the end of the day, I'm still do my own thing. Like, when I was moving out of town, I had to ask them, you know. Sometimes I got to ask Google. I got to do research and see, you know. Like, a lot of times I just can't go about, you know, with my gut feeling. Because other people I love, don't get me wrong. I love other people's opinions on things, and you can't get through life alone, so don't get me wrong about that, but that's something, you know, that's something different, like, if you saying, you know, if you should take this math class, then, you know, you got to do your own research, it's still going to be somebody's opinion, but you just got to see, you know, you know, and it depends on what you're trying to do in life. So at the end of the day, you got to gather all your research. You got to gather all your opinions and see, you know, if there's something you want to do. Like at the end of the day, it's still going to be somebody else. But, you know, you were not trying to, you know, you weren't trying to let people, you know, you don't want to let people in your head, you know, telling you what to do. And you only heard one person. You only heard two people. And now, you know, you want to you wanna do what they say or, you know, they said it ain't good just because, you know, based on their life experience. Maybe they don't even really know anything about what you're trying to do. They just going by their life experience. Like, you know, for instance, me trying to move out of town. Like I said, I was trying to get a whole bunch of people opinions and see, you know, see if this the right choice for me or should I stay home. And don't get me wrong, it was a few, you know, family members saying, you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't move out of town. You know, this gonna happen, that gonna happen. Um, Why you just don't want to, you know, stay close to family? I love my family. Very oriented, you know, very oriented. You feel me? Sometimes I don't know if I'm saying the word right, but I, I have confidence that I'm saying the word right. You feel me? So... I got to thinking like, man, and I don't really, I really didn't get to thinking about that. Like, I already knew moving out of town was going to help me. But the thing was, I knew I was going to miss family so much. So that was the reason why I was kind of like shaky about it, like kind of hesitant. Like, should I really make this move 
on my own. You know, I don't got no family members out here. Um, I got I got quite a few friends, you know, but it's more like associates. So I need to stop saying I don't have nobody, nobody, but they more like associates. So I, I'm sure if I needed somebody out here, somebody, uh, you know, at least one or two people would come there for me. As a lot of my subscribers know, I'm in Charlotte now, you know. Even though I asked for their opinion and see what I should do, get their perspective, I still, you know, I still did my own thing. I listened to somebody and they said, you know, why should you be out there? You know, it's a lot of, you know, everything, racism still happen. You know, um, crime still happen. Everything, everything still happen in every city. Every city have their own problems. It might be less crime. It might be, might be less racism. You know, but at the end of the day, you know, everybody's still human. And the same thing is going to happen. Everybody still have their same problems. I know that. I know that. But the thing is, more cities have more opportunity for others. And you can make it anywhere in the world. That ain't no excuse. You can't say, well, I'm from here. So that's the reason why I ain't make it. I have, you know. I have been saying that to myself before where I feel like if I if I grew up in this city, I would be so much more successful. But I'm glad, I'm glad, man, like forget all the success. I'm glad I came from where I came from. You know, I ain't no telling if I would have had the same family members if I ain't come from. And I love, you know, love all my family members, no matter if they hate me, love me, no matter, you know, no matter all that, you know. So ain't no telling if I would have had the same family members if I grew up in this area and I have a big family. I love that too. Some people got like 20 people in their family. Some people have about 22, 20, you know, I said 22 and 20 like it was a big difference. 50, 100, you feel me? Me, I have a whole bunch of them and that's what I love no matter, no matter what. I love a big family like full of cousins. Like if they, if you, if you need them, they got you, you feel me? A lot of them got you, you know. A lot of them be like, you know. And some people just don't mess with their family, f family and stuff like that. Like it ain't f family for me because I still, be, I still believe we we having this debate about you know blood is thicker than water, you know. And that's that's true to me. It ain't true to everybody though. So people have they different opinion. Blood can be thicker than water, you know, in your life. And you know, in other people's life, water, you know, they going with the water. They going with the friends of a family. Don't let me get started on this acting thing, though. If somebody wanted to say, you know, for all my actors out there, and this can go for people that's not acting, you know, don't let me get started on acting. Like I done a lot of research, and some people, you know, even if you go on some like Reddit. You know, that's that's a whole bunch of, bunch of people, different, you know, opinions on the app. And they leave a comment. Somebody will leave a question like, should I be an actor and this and that? You know, and see, some people be like, nah, you shouldn't be no actor because you know how hard it is. A lot of people go broke trying to do acting and, you know, you need to find yourself a real job. Man, like you can't. And sometimes... Depending on what you search up, it really can get you out of your motivation, out of your, you know, inspiration. You, 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 you planned on going there before and now all of a sudden you searched it up and you don't want to go there because people saying it's hard. So you do got to watch out for that. But don't let nobody tell you that you can't do anything in life. Like, I know acting is hard, but that's what made me want to do it because... I want to do something that everybody else, you know, find this hard. So I want to prove somebody wrong. Be like, okay, you said that. Even if I didn't make it, I ain't doing it for, you know, to prove people wrong. I'm doing it for me. You know, I'm trying to challenge myself in life to be a better version of myself. I don't want to be doing things that's easy because when I do things that's easy, I do not feel like I'm growing. I don't feel like I'm growing at all. I, when I'm doing things that's easy, I feel like, you know... You know, um, I be asking myself every day, like, that was so easy. Like, what did I learn from that? And I be feeling bad, like, if if I ain't work out, 
you know, hard enough and I worked out for 15 minutes and I was only lifting look weights and stuff. I was like, bro, I don't feel nothing in my body. My body not hurting. You hear me? My body is not hurting. I wanna feel some I wanna feel some pain. I wanna feel my 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 biceps, triceps, my thighs tighten up. You know, if they don't tight up, that mean I ain't push myself hard enough. That's just how I feel. You know, so I don't want nothing that's easy in life. If I wanted something that's easy in life, I would have, you know, never went went to college. Nothing against, you know, people who didn't, because you can still you can still go through hard challenges. You know, I feel like it's even harder for people, you know, that just got a high school degree. So, you know, when you get a high school degree. And you, you successful in life, shout out to you. Like, even if you taking care of business, you don't got to be rich. You don't got to have money. If you taking care of business and you happy and you getting through life, shout out to you. But I'm just saying through the whole college process, people say college hard. You know, like, I was kind of like, bro, like, should I do this? I think I told a lot of my subscribers, my new subscribers don't know that. But I told them, you know, how I wanted to quit college and I don't think this for me. But if I would have gave up, I don't even think my life would be how it is, you know, today. So thank God, like, thank God for that. God just woke me up one day and told me, Herb, you can do this. And if it ain't coming from God, if it's coming from other people, don't, you know, don't listen to the outsiders. Listen to, you know, if God is telling you, putting it in your head, go ahead and do it. And don't talk yourself out of it. Because if you talk yourself out of it, then I don't believe... You know, it's God. You know, God can be telling you, hey, I got something else planned for you. But you just got to know, I'm still trying to learn the difference between God telling you and you you telling yourself this. So you got to let that devil, you got to let that demon outside of you. You got to just, you know, be the best you. You know, I don't know what to say to that, but you just got to know the difference. You feel me? So at the end of the day, just listen to yourself no matter what nobody say. You know, no matter what nobody say in life, just do your own thing. If you don't even be successful, and success can be different from you. A lot of people's success can mean like money and, you know, all this other stuff. And other people's success can be just happiness and doing, you know, the things that you wanted to do. And long as I feel like, long as you did everything you wanted to do, then that's successful for me. Don't worry about people saying hi. Hey, don't worry about the outsiders saying you don't got no house. You don't making you feel bad. Because as long as you wanted to do what you wanted to do, like, I feel like I won't have no regrets whatsoever. I would probably be a little upset. No lie, I'd probably be a little upset that it ain't go as far as I wanted to go. But long, I don't have no regrets. Like, if I started that podcast, you know, I started that podcast. If I didn't, I would have regret because I was thinking about it. If I ain't be an actor... Then I will have a regret because I was thinking about it and, you know, and then, you know, you know what I'm saying. And it ain't happened. If I thought about starting YouTube and it ain't, you know, it ain't happened, them, them gonna be regrets for me. Only thing that I'm trying to, you know, do now is build that business. And I don't wanna wait too late to build. I still got a whole bunch of time. 25, 30, 40, it's not, you know, it's not old at all. So you still, man, people in their 80s moving great. Like, they moving like one of us. I be like, bro, what you eating? <laughs> What's your workout routine? <laughs> like, tell me something. You moving, you moving your head like me. You get up, you bending down, going up and down. I'm like, bro, 80, 80 seem like it's still young the way he looked. You know, the guy that showed me two guys, two, three guys, the way they looked in their 70s and 80s. Shoot, look at Joe Biden. How old is Joe Biden? Like 80 something? 70, 76, 77. Look at him. You got a whole bunch of time. You still got about 40, 50, 60 years left. You got a whole bunch of time. So at the end of the day, don't live with no regrets. You're like, don't listen to them. Even the most successful person, don't listen to them because would you trade your life for them? Like, I wouldn't trade my life for Jay-Z. I wouldn't trade my life for Beyonce. I wouldn't trade my life for Obama. You know, I would love to be president, though. <laughs> but I wouldn't trade my life, you know. 
you can put yourself in that position, but would you trade everything, your your hobbies, your 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 everything? I would want to have. Don't get me wrong. I I want to have the money, but I wouldn't trade my life. I wouldn't switch my life, my my families, and all this other stuff with them. I wouldn't. I love myself. I love the journey that I'm taking. You know, everybody's journey is different. So don't compare yourself to others, man. Obama might want to be you. He he probably don't even want to be that person. You know, somebody you know somebody that's famous probably jealous of you, and you know they got they got more than you. You don't even know. You just think they got it sweet. You think they got it sweet, man. You know, people people probably feel like you more happy. You stress less and everything, and they want to be you. So be yourself. Be yourself. You're a king. You're a queen. And guess what? Stay blessed. I'm out of here.